tip from our local man, Stu Rodney, of the UFO Hour. We're out here on Old Benson Highway waiting for something big to happen. Holy shit! It's Hank Miller! I guess Stu Rodney's not a crackpot. Mr. Miller, is that you? Mr. Miller, are you okay? Where have you been? Aliens. UFO got me. Are you okay? I've been probed. You're watching Channel 67. Amter TV. Broadcasting live from Gila Bend. You're watching Channel 67, Amter TV, broadcasting live from Gila Bend. Good evening. Welcome to another edition of Now It's Dark on Amtur TV. I'm your host, Hank Miller. Tonight we'll be watching Atomic Age Vampire, Italian horror film from 1960. Directed by Anton Giulio Mijano and starring Alberto Lupo and Suzanne Lorette. I want to wish everybody out there happy Halloween. Thanks for tuning in tonight. I hope you'll have a lot of comments for me and a lot of phone calls. I haven't had a lot of human interaction lately. Yeah. Go put some clothes on. Let's watch the opening here. I won't be a minute. Try to get it through your head, Jeanette. I only came in to tell you goodbye. Goodbye? Yeah. It's all over. 
You had your choice. Either me or the so-called profession you're working at. You're still working, so that means I'm through. Oh, please don't treat me like this. You know your ship is about to sail. It's better for us. It's easier if I go away. Easier to what? To suffer even more than we both have already? You know we belong to each other, Pierre. Oh, please, Jeanette. Let them us now. No. Pierre! Yeah. Better move on. There's a mob of people out there. They want you to do another number. I won't do another number. I'm fed up with this job. Thanks for tuning in tonight, Jay Mosesian, Stock Trailer Mike. Glad you're watching. The phone lines will be open all night long. You want to talk to Hank live on the air? Give me a call. 520-329-2866. Yes, more or less. And in a few more days now, I could read the truth in the eyes of Professor Moray. There isn't a bit of hope for me. Mutilated. This picture. Thanks for tuning in tonight, Sunrise with Mark. You might as well be prepared for the worst. But it won't make any difference to someone who really loves you. I don't want to be pitied by anyone, especially by him. Don't leave me alone. At least leave a cup of tea. Leave me alone! <laughs> oh, dear. She has no family here. Not even friends close enough to worry about her. Now no, this film is... Clear. Go to her. Says it's about Anyone a vampire. No one. And no one must know that Jeanette Morino is coming here. No one must know. I have Strangely enough, things. there's a mad scientist and I know in that it. I succeed. You're going to need me. I'll be here, I'll bear. What pig man? Sunrise Widmark, J. Mosesian, say you say a uh, pig man. Oof. I don't think her career is going to keep going the way it was. Jamie Obsessian's asking about Terror Joe. No. You mustn't give up all hope yet. <clears throat> Who are you? TJ was Don't a former student of mine at the Gila Bend Night School of Animal Husbandry and Diesel to Mechanics. He wants to give you treatment. What's the use of treatment? What's the use? You have to believe me. Talented young man and energetic. Together. And it's miraculous. I think he I uh, got a little zealot take over the station last week. Hello, Leroy. <clears throat> Hi. Now, don't tell me you're here because you want to interview me. You don't think so? Let's just say no, the uh, FCC oh, came on. looking for him. What about him. this for a big headline? Uh, Jeanette Morino, happy and beautiful as ever. They got a mad publicity for your clinic here. Sure, but that's one headline you are never going to He'll see. He'll be hanging out with the feds for a while. Doctor, we're waiting for your at round. At your service. So long, Leroy. See you around. Now, secrecy is necessary. And I mean absolutely... Hey, you want to talk to Hank? Give me a call. 520-329-2866. Phone lines are open. Have. Keep that in mind. Always. You will drop out of sight for a short time. Three or four weeks at the very most. 
And when you reappear, everything will... This woman kind of looks like a secret agent. As if you had awakened from a horrible dream. Don't you believe me? Well, then do just as you wish. I have never been to hmm. see you. But we'll be expecting you. Now, this film is, uh, came out Don't one year after a very, very successful, famous film. I'm not being immodest. Called I'm Eyes Without a Face. A French film directed by Georges Fanjot. Have driven scientists more than ever before into research involving methods and Very similar premise. This film kind of lifted it. Totally destroyed cells. Successful in correcting abnormal cell growth as well as in restoring cells which have been destroyed, just as good often grows out of evil. Derma 28 has grown go. out of Derma 25. Classic mad scientist. We got a, a laboratory stabilizing its effect. and an assistant, vaccine, which for years have been the Igor major goal type. of the most important scientific research. Repeated experiments. Using Derma 28 on specimens deformed by injections of Derma 25 prove its miraculous. Now, Jamo says, Don't dark. be too hard on TJ. Derma 28. I don't know if he was in that job. Monique, what are you doing? Just uh, you realize trying to do what he thought here? was right. The Derma 25 serum that we've been injecting in so many of those poor little animals. Transforming them into monsters. You're aware of its effect. Look at that. Oh, my. Come on. You'll have to be exposed to treatment at once in the radiation chamber. No. Give me an injection of Derma 28. But you know, it's never been tried on human beings. I wouldn't have the courage. That's just why I did it, to force you to have the courage. No, let's wait for the girl, Jeanette Moreno. No, I want to share this honor with you. I've never been as near to you before as I am at this moment. And you will always remember it. We don't need you. Sunrise Windmark. Yes, that was a Billy Idol's tune. Eyes Without a Face. Great film, though. If you ever uh, get a chance to see the film by Georges Fanjot, I strongly suggest it. It's a nice uh, of work and anxiety. And uh, when the day comes when we can addition rapidly, on the uh, Criterion Collection. Give me your arm. Yes, there is no doubt. There is not the slightest doubt any longer. Phone lines are open. Give Hank a call here at Amtro TV, 520-329-2866. That is our lifetime. That's right. I shall always remember everything you've done for me. Thank you. Is that Don't FDA approved? Not sure, Stock Trailer Mike, Nothing. what they're doing here. We'll celebrate this evening. No. Let's both stay home. Together. With our records. One moment. <laughs> Sunrise Widmark. Yeah, that lab equipment kind of does look like a still. <laughs> Why do you look at me that way? For a moment there, you seem to be... I'm not sure. I'm quite following what the... Uh, yes, it was a ritual. What his uh, research is about right here. That lab kind of reminds me a little bit about the last four months or so. Is this Professor Levin? So you've come to us. I'm wow. Happy. And your luggage? In the check Reminds me of uh, the Invisible Man. Where's the ticket? Here it is. Love that coat. Are you sure that no one knows you've come here? Positive. Go and pick up her luggage. Uh, interesting comments, Doc Trailer Mark. Let's go into May the cause night vision or diarrhea? Are we talking about... Uh, like a clinic? No, it's not a clinic. 
It's the place where Dr. Levin studies and does his work. We need to help him. Come Side on. effects here, I guess, right? <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. So, why am I here? It's a letter from a colleague in Chicago about a clairvoyant case. Richard, you're going to see the most amazing discovery I've ever made. Where did you find art between the bearded lady and the elephant man? Professor Austin is a non-believer. Science and religion often dismiss what they don't understand out of fear and ignorance. This voyage is the best evidence I've ever come across. You make an excellent subject. What's happening to us, Richard? You don't know what you're dealing with. Then I'd need to find a new body. You're watching Channel 67. Amter TV, broadcasting live from Gila Bend. Something's coming, folks, or in actuality, already here. Oh my word, Buford, there's floating lights in the sky. No, there ain't, woman. Gosh darn it, I know what I've seen, Buford. I'm looking at him right now. Agnes, you get back in this house this minute. I think they're aliens, Buford. There ain't no aliens. They're always seeing stuff in the sky that isn't really there. Buford, I cook for you. I clean for you. Oh don't tell God, me what I'm seeing over again. here. I Listen, you, I'm they say the truth is out there. But it's happening right here in Gila Bend. Stay safe, my friends. Operators are standing by. You're watching Channel 67. Amter TV. Broadcasting live from Gila Bend. We're back. We're watching Atomic Age Vampire from 1960. Show me your face. Show me your face, I say. Now, in case you missed anything, this young lady right here was in a terrible accident that disfigured her. There's no doctor. And this man is a She's prominent doctor scientist who's developing new control, like leprosy. serums uh, no to do strange no, things. No one. Let me go away, please. <laughs> Sunrise with Mark, Atomic Age Man and Leopard Woman. <laughs> Hope you guys are all having a great Halloween out there. Thank you for spending your Halloween evening with us here at Amtur TV. Now pull yourselves together. We have succeeded in discovering a great secret. The secret of spontaneous reproduction of living cells. It's the secret of life itself. The secret of life and also of death. Just now, I deliberately spoke of cancer, of cells which proliferate unexpectedly at the expense of the <clears throat> organism 
If you could just send me a self stamped, self addressed stamped envelope, Sunrise Woodmark. Uh, we can mail you some candy there. We aim to try. Thanks for joining the show tonight. I've never believed in miracles. I've forgotten how to pray. <laughs> Did I talk about the probe yet? Uh, no, I did not. Did not talk about. You'd prefer to kill yourself. <clears throat> Stock for the mic. Uh, uh, I have not had a chance to get to the doctor body, yet. You're condemned um, for the rest of your life. And you know check me out completely. I'm not really quite sure if, right. if I have both my kidneys or not. Right now. You really are so desperate. Take your own life if you want to. Hey, the phone lines are open tonight. Love to hear from you. I've been away for a long time and I haven't had mo have not really had anybody to talk to. So give me a call. 520-329-2866. Now we aim to try. I, I know uh, TJ was here last week. He's a little eager. Beautiful. FCC agents were here. And they took him away. So, uh, poor TJ, he'll be uh, answering some questions for a while. Ooh. He got a call. You're live on the air with Hank. Who's calling? You'd rather not say. Where are you calling from? You're calling from around. What's on your mind? Tasha, where have you been? Where have I been? Well, uh. Is Joe in San Quentin? Is Joe in San Quentin? TJ, I don't know where he is. I, all I know is that the FCC came around and picked him up. Supposed to bring the donuts. He's supposed to bring the donuts for a meeting. What meeting? Jeebies. I have no affiliation with the Jeebies. No affiliation. Amateur TV is. Um, hello? Hello? I don't know, I think that person was having a little bit too much fun on Halloween. Maybe had too many drinks. <clears throat> well, uh, once I have visiting hours for uh, TJ Otero Joe, uh, I'll definitely go visit him. As I mentioned earlier, he, he was one of my students at the uh, Gila Bend Night School of Animal Husbandry and Diesel Mechanics. Took my film appreciation class. I'm in trouble? Why am I in trouble, Sunrise Windmark? <laughs> Behind me? What? Oh, what happened here? Hey, thanks for the call. You want to talk to Hank? Phone lines are open, 520-319-2866. I believe this is what they call exotic dancer.
Jimmo Session want to know about space. Uh, let me just say, Thank you very much. it was metallic, cold, and dark. Anti-postmodernism. Thanks for joining us this evening. Arlette, where are you going? Oh, and cult that? leader 8645111320. Sounds spooky. Here, give me another one. Thanks for joining us as well. You heard him. But it won't help anything. Two scotches, right away. What a pride is done to oh. do Wait a second. This guy was uh, in the beginning of the film and Cut it off with the uh, the woman who got in the car wreck and became disfigured. The derma must be applied through an incision. Scalpel. This one right here. Swab. Clamp. Now this film uh, stars uh, Albert Lupo, who is the uh, doctor right there. Quite a prolific actor in Italy. I don't think he's done anything you might have seen, but I did notice that uh, he did appear in one of the Django stories franchises. Susan Lorette, who's our patient right there, um, she didn't uh, do much work. I think she was only been half a dozen, eight films or something. Interestingly enough, though, the film that she was in prior to this one was called. Uncle was a vampire. They give you a lift in my car. So she did two vampire films back to back. Not a drop of the serum left. Five injections without any effect at all. And I know I was not mistaken. They took effect on you. Because then you applied it immediately. In the case of so phone lines are open. Five two zero three one nine two eight six six. Prepare serum enough. Let's send her away. We'll find another subject when we've a new supply of Derma 28. And let her go around telling everyone what we did to her. We'll have to kill her. And besides, what if the Derma 28 should have some unusual effect on her? Don't forget Derma 28. From Derma 25. I can't bear to think of her becoming a... A monster, is that it? You worry too much about her. Oh, there. We've got Derma 28 and Derma 25. Look there. I don't know if you've been following this, but I don't know which one does what. That's a miracle cure. You shouldn't have been pessimistic. I never had a moment's doubt. Bring me something to drink, please. If you don't mind. Stock trailer Mike says 25 is the bad one. That's bad stuff. This could be a miracle cure for acne as well. Ah, oh, Jame Obsession. Thank you so much. It's a miracle, just like getting you back. Hey, it's glad to be back on Terra Firma. I gotta tell you. We'll be right back after these messages. Back in the wild frontier.
Things aren't always as they seem. God help us all. A mother with nothing left to lose. My son and husband were killed. Must join forces with a town held hostage. Wiped out half the town. There's nothing we can do. By a ruthless, supernatural outlaw. Oh, it's like he ain't even human. Think of me as a ghost. But when a mysterious stranger rides into town... Is that your name? Peljudian? A phantom warrior sworn to protect the righteous. They're caught in the showdown between good and evil. Denise Crosby from Star Trek The Next Generation, Angus Scrimm from Phantasm, and Robert McRae in the ultimate dual role. You're watching Channel 67. Amter TV. Broadcasting live from Gila Bend. Well, hello there. At the first glance, you failed to recognize me. So you must live a rare life of seclusion, and I pity you for that. For the rest of you, you know this striking visage is none other than I, famed author, noted personality, and the host of television, Unexplained, Explained, Walter D. Zart. And I'm here today to talk to you about one thing and one thing only, pizza. What kind of pizza, you ask? Why only the best. The most wondrous. The most mysterious pizza out there today. That's right. I am talking about Peistradamus' Pizza Prophecies. Experience. Experience. Hank Miller is the on-air host of Now It Star on Amateur TV in Hill Band, and faculty member at the Hill Band Diet School of Animal Husbandry and Diesel Mechanics. He was last seen June 12th on Old Benson Highway, searching for missing person Big Ed Winters and Ed's canine eyed if you have an information, please call 520-329-2866. You're watching Channel 67. Amter TV. Broadcasting live from Gila Bend. We're back. We're watching Atomic Age Vampire, Italian horror film from 1960. Look there. If you're just joining the show, this young lady here was disfigured, and this man here, doctor scientist, Right at the moment, all just I uh, cured her, gave her a beautiful complexion back. Of what? Will there be after effects now? Will the regeneration of cells continue as it Behind is? me. I'm sure it will. Have I said too long? You. Yes, yes. Pig man. It's what? Levitt, the man who is... There's a pig behind you. What do you mean? That's that's silly. Oh. Hey, 
Yeah, I saw Rocky Munson join the show tonight. Thanks so much for joining us tonight, Rocky. Really appreciate it. FCC Gila Band. Terror Joe is in our custody. Let's negotiate. <laughs> TJ's a good kid. I'd like to have him back. Hey, our phone lines are open tonight. 520-329-2866. We must wait a bit. We must be certain what the results are. I wanted to share something with you guys tonight. Uh, Don't doubt it, Jeanette. This came in the mail today. A miracle has happened to you. I don't know what it means. And you will remain with us until we are sure that we can proclaim it to the entire world. It's kind of cute, though. Got some sharp, pointy things, though. I don't know if I can, like, hug it and squeeze it. But... Thanks so much. For the viewer who sent that in, I really appreciate it. Another one. Another one. Phone lines are open. 520-329-2866. And Monique. I wonder why voodoo she doll. Scared. I don't know. She has an experiment. Do you believe in voodoo stock trailer, Mike? Anyway, isn't it better like this? I mean, we're in Arizona. I don't think they have voodoo here. No. I don't know what happened here in the film. Looks like she's cured. Things are going great. A lot of cocktails. FCC Gila Ben. Okay, uh, all right, we'll see. Uh, here we go. What do you want here? Let's see if Terror Joe screams. Here we go. Do you remember how you embraced me when you first saw that you were cured? Anyway. Uh, ow! What was then gratitude well, that already become love. That hurt. You shouldn't believe I think it says Hank, not, not TJ. Oh. I'll tell be careful of that stuff. Please, FCC, heal the band. Go, uh, go easy on TJ. Like I said, he's a good kid. I'm sure they need him back at the uh, solar farm. Nobody's working the night shift now. Phone line's open. 520-319-2866. What happened here? I think this uh, goes against the doctor pa doctor patient relationship. You belong to me. Oh, her skin's not looking so good. Wait a moment. I'd almost forgotten. We might need that Derma 28. Excuse me one moment. Hmm. Albert, tell me what it is. Nothing. Nothing at all. Something rather urgent, which I forgot to tell Monique. Monique! Another little tidbit about this film. Monique! It's uh, produced Monique! by Mario Fava. Like it's in Farva beans. Fava. I don't know what's wrong. It's just on my face we're on fire. Now, the strange part is, there's a really famous Italian filmmaker by the name of Mario Bava. And uh, sometimes it, this film gets attributed to Mario Bava, but it wasn't a Mario Bava film. What's wrong with me? I am here, Jeanette. Just relax. You're very tired. But Mario Bava and this particular film are very important in terms of the Gothic horror tradition in Italian horror cinema. Don't count any longer on me. Monique! She means more to you now than just an experiment. Monique! I cannot do it without you. Then I'll now. make a condition. You know what it is. Yes, never see her again. 
I give you my word, believe me. Monique is not happy. Two time and and Igor over there. Russia. Help us carry her to the I don't think he uh I don't think he appreciates the doctor's value system there. <laughs> Stock trail of my most prescriptions are not supposed to mix with alcohol. So true. So true, Stock Trail Mike. We'll try radiation. Have you gone mad? Yes, yes, I know it's not. We aim to try. Take any risk for her. You know Do you think uh, Igor is, is being played by uh, Robert De Niro? She mustn't suffer like this. Dermot 25. With surgery and insertion. You're out of your mind. That's it. It's the only possible solution. I'll transplant directly from another human being those glands. Oh, I like the lighting here. From another woman, a young one. Oh, there. You must be insane. You've gone mad over her. I gave you my solemn word. No, I know that I can't trust you. How will you ever accomplish it? By murdering the first woman that passes. And if you have to pick two different, you'll kill another woman and oh, another. Oh, here we go. But I refuse to be your Now husband. we're in the mad scientist part. part. I thought head. this was a Please vampire movie. Here. Monique! Monique! Listen to me, Monique. Stop it. We've already said enough to each other. She's lying down there alone. It's not possible now start to save her. <laughs> what can we do? I am still here. Stop to the mic. I believe this is a family show. You're impossible. Not over till yes. the scarf comes off. <laughs> I'm infatuated with you, but it will pass. Not love, really. It's sentimental complex. It's only a compulsion, if you like. I want to dominate the girl, to possess her creatively. You will have to help me in this also. Help me overcome this infatuation. You can't Not trust this guy, as Monique. You have done before. Can't you manage to convince yourself she will remain like this? Like this? She has nothing to do with the two of us. I promised we will send her far away. Far away. <clears throat> I, will forget I don't know what the deal is with vampires, we but again. we were talking about Please Mario Bava. Please try to be the same intelligent woman um, you've always been. Just a year you before know, this film came out, Mario Bava's first film that he was associated with came out. It was called I, Vampiria. Please be reasonable. Apparently a lot of vampire movies in... Italy in the early 60s. You like my tie, Jamo Session? It's a little cowboy back from my rodeo days. Now remember, we're going to break here soon, but when we come back, phone lines are going to be open. Love to hear from you tonight. 520-319-2866. Thanks so much for tuning in tonight. It's Dr. Taylor Mike. We aim to try Sunrise Widmark, Anti-Postmodernism, Jay Mosesian, and then... Cult leader eight six four five one one three two zero. What is it, Sasha? It's a great handle. Why did you come in without knocking on my door? All right. I call this guy Igor, but his name is Sasha. Oh, I have a splitting headache. But he does play the uh, Igor trope. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry, we aim to try what? <laughs> Hank, what is it uh, we aim to try? I'm sorry, what did I do? What do you mean, Sasha? What's happened to Monique? No, no, it's not true. I don't believe it, it's not possible. Monique! Monique! 
we'll be right back after these messages. We'll talk about the probe on the other side. I'm well, shocked they would let someone like you out. 25 years is not enough. I'm a new man with a new life. I'm not going back. A wicked man flees, so no one pursues. Yeah. Those who forsake the law praise the wicked. Evil men do not understand justice. He who conceals his sin shall not prosper. A man tormented by the guilt of murder will be a fugitive until death. Let no one support him. Amter TV Broadcasting live from Gila Bend Tapes from numerous locals with strong evidence that we are being visited from beings beyond the stars I must warn you what you are about to see is highly disturbing Hey! Ed, is that you? Ed, are you out here, girl? What in the hell is going on here? Oh my god! It's... It's like the size of a building. They say the truth is out there. But it's happening right here in Gila Bend. Stay safe, my friends. Operators are standing by. You're watching Channel 67, Amter TV, broadcasting live from Gila Bend. I don't know. No warning beforehand. Oh, yeah. We're back. We're back with the show. Atomic Age Vampire. This is Monique. Without an autopsy. She's dead. I've already confirmed the diagnosis given by Dr. Melvin. Without a consideration. No, no. If this is real fact. Now, if you didn't follow the story, Monique was in love with this guy, the doctor. I say no autopsy. The doctor fell in love with his patient. She was from Cherbourg. Monique lives here. You will find her identity card and papers in her room. Hmm. She suffered from dizzy spells and palpitations. I should show you something. Ah, here it is. All right, FCC, he'll bend. I don't want to break any laws here. I kept it where she wouldn't find it. FCC so code 23456. One will not spread alien disinformation on any online or offline communication platform. If you dismiss any classified information on Amateur TV, we will consider revoking your licenses. I've read your interviews, and I saw you on television when you returned from Japan. Oh, by the way, these strange-looking bottles, are they from... Yes, Hiroshima. A process of deformative fusion of bottles, glasses, and ceramics near each other. All right, about the probe. Well, anyway, it's now, kind of I've been gone for a few months. And did you remain a long time there? It wasn't something I really like to talk about. It makes me uncomfortable. Oh, how interesting. Now, 
uh, I was in a dark I space, very metallic, very cold. Certainly. And from then on, I've devoted my life to such research. What research exactly? Are you acquainted with the field of genetic mutations? Nobody to talk to. Vaguely speaking. Frogs but the strange thing is, frogs with two heads. Exactly. Ed and Ida were there. Suppose that mutations could be made permanent or not, as we please. Imagine if this were so, what extraordinary developments it could lead to. What you mean is exploit the horror by extracting its advantages. The bad which justifies the good. Is that I don't know if we can afford More or less, I suppose. to lower our ad rates. I don't right want to get in trouble with the FCC. You, you showed some photos that were most interesting. Oh, yes. They're in this album. But Sunrise Widmark, you... Man. Oh, we got a call. You're live on the air with Hank. What's your name, uh, caller? This is Mike Habernack from the FCC. Well, the Field Office. Is not How are you doing count. today, Hank? Uh, I'm doing well, fine. How are you, Mr. Habernacki? Well, we've been monitoring well, then, Doctor. TV lately, and uh, we right. saw we were pretty clear in the chat window that we were not supposed to be well, uh, I didn't really say anything. I was just commenting that I've been away for a while and in a very cold, dark, metallic space. Uh, I believe <clears throat> somewhere on the other side of Saturn. Today I'm glad to be alive. Thank you. Is that like, uh, like, uh, above the White Mountain area, maybe like, uh, near like, uh, Winslow? Winslow. Yes, yes, yes. White Mountains, right. The water. Sure. Well. Yes, I'm sorry. Isn't there any... What's, uh... Can they? I mean, considering that I'm the FCC, I don't have a lot of legal jurisdiction right now. So let's just go ahead and call this a warning. No And uh, if you could please uh, refrain from any sort of alien talk on your show. Well, I appreciate the warning. Could I ask a favor, Mr. Habernacki? What is it? Uh, my face is burning. Would you mind giving our best? Uh, going back home. TJ, I wonder what it is. if Put you have on. him in custody. Well, now I'm upstairs on the fourth floor, and he's down in my basement, sub uh, C3, section, I don't know, two, probably. Um, so I can definitely get him a message, and uh, he's, he's fine. We're feeding him, and uh, but uh, it's, it's out of my hands and now. There's definitely the a lot of. But I want you to watch outside the door. Don't move you. from there till you and, see me. Uh, Put your stuff somewhere else. Be careful out there, you know. I mean, you don't want to be next to TJ and sub-cell So, careful, Hank. Uh, Mr. Habernacki, before you go, could you please send animal control over? I really would appreciate it. I have to deal with that. Okay, can you talk about the chat window? I don't have the courage. I don't want to kill again. I don't see it. I'm not saying anything. Um, it's just a fantastic movie by Mr. Farmer. Oh, it's Mario Fava. That was the producer, Mario Fava. Fava. No, he's Italian. Is the R on the... Like no, like no. <laughs> no, not not like Brett Favre, no. Fava, okay. F A V A. Ooh, that looks like roulette. Oh, sorry, Mr. Habernacki. What's that? What? Okay, I got a hold on. I'll go get that message from CJ, and uh, you just said you have a good night, okay? Thanks for calling, and uh, we'll try and keep our alien conspiracies to a minimum.
thank you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Ivanaki. Bye-bye. I don't want to get uh, Amateur TV in trouble. What happened to our doctor? He's gonna need, uh, what are we up to, Derma 32? Stock trailer Mike, you keeping track of the, the versions? That Mr. Habernack, he sounds like a nice man. I hope he treats TJ well down there. Now, James says, Sam, we all can't be beautiful. Now, we aim to try. I don't want to get in trouble now. some interesting uh, shots right there. This looks like there's some kind of game show apparatus. A bunch of cash floating around in there. Now let's just say, recently I was taking a bus ride and I don't know where I was going. I was in the middle of nowhere. And then I postmodernism on this bus, I was the only one on that bus. And it was cold and it was dark. And, uh, I would wake up sometimes and I was strapped to a chair. Janet. And there were some uncomfortable things happening to me. I would just say that. So, so the next time you think about taking a bus ride, you might want to rethink that. Without this obsession for your looking glass. I know, you're thinking of yesterday. I'm still upset myself. You're afraid the cure will not be permanent. But too many mistaken. calls here. Well, not, not too many calls. I love the calls, please. I'd love to have more calls. 520-319-2866. Having a hard time keeping up with the movie. We nourish them artificially for a time. And especially with the transplant. Yes. J. Monsession, what kind? Be done more than once. What kind of bus? <laughs> Why are you staring at me? I told you I'm tired and upset. I spent the whole night working in the laboratory so you could wake up as you are. I would say it's kind of like a magic school bus. Very few. Very few. No one hopes so more than I do. You could never understand what it has cost me to make you well again. And yet, all I would have to do is tell you. You Chair. How deeply I love you. Jeanette! No! Well. Leave me alone, Albert. Please go. <clears throat> I must get dressed now. We can see each other later out in the garden. Post alien syndrome. Yes. Yes, right, Sunrise Woodmark. I do have a little bit of post alien syndrome. Keep an eye right here for this amazing cut here, people. 
will be right back after these messages. See you at my guest tonight? No, I am on Big Brother detail this week. My little brother Corey's in town. Are you man. kidding me, man? That's perfect. Who are you to limit his college experience, huh? My main man, what's going on? Chilling, man. I gotta pick something up on the fucking booze cruise. This place is usually bumping at this time. I hate the week after spring break. Everyone brings back some sort of sick <laughs> shit with them. Anybody call the cops yet? Oh, all the lines are busy. It's pretty safe in here, right? That door is the solidest rock. I said we just stay, chill here for a while, right? Great. Dorm was a freaking dead. We're gonna need a place to go after this, and the studio seems like the safest spot. You grab something to defend yourselves with. We're moving out. This is how it always starts. Somebody gets curious, curious George goes out the door, and then boom! Here comes the show. I'm sorry, but when I see somebody hungering for my sweet, succulent brain flesh, I call them a zombie. College is going to rock. You're watching Channel 67. Amter TV. Broadcasting live from Gila Bend. Experience, 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 experience. Have I experienced some like any other? Hey, it's just come to me. I see that they have been rated number one in quality assurance and customer service. At Paisa Domus, every employee is handpicked for their psychic ability and, and mental prowess. Like this young man right here. So he can deliver on our famed motto. If we forget to predict the toppings on your order before you made your order, then because we forgot to do that, it's going to be uh, discounted at 50% off of the order. So half, half, half off the pizza for because I didn't do it right. Great, and that's a sightseer's guarantee. Mom! Experience. Experience. Oh, Experience. Oh. Ed is the owner and operator of MMTR TV in Heel Bend. He was last seen looking for his dog guide on Old Benson Highway. If you've seen Big Ed or Ride, please call 520-329-2866. You're watching Channel 67. Amter TV. Broadcasting live from Gila Bend. We're back. Atomic Age Vampire from 1960. Italian horror film. Sunrise Widmark. Hello. It was not the cut to the bathroom I was referring to, but the scarf being thrown over the camera lens. Certainly, by airmail. He has a stopover on the return voyage. Please don't mention it. J. Mo Sesson, you were asking about the chair. It was a recliner, very cushy. And you know I only smoke this kind. Please don't buy me some. Now, I was talking about this earlier. This film uh, was really at the beginning the of the birth of Italian horror oh, cinema. You will remember to mail the letter, won't you? Thank you. 
And even though it was produced by Mario Fava, I did mention Mario Bava, who's a famous Italian filmmaker. <clears throat> And really in the, uh, the horror tradition in Italian cinema, Mario Bava started with the gothic horror film with classics like Black Sunday. What's fascinating is through the 60s and the 70s, Italian horror cinema evolved not only from gothic horror, that it moved into the yellow genre. We we saw Dario Argento's Deep Red several months ago, which was the erotic thrillers. And then <clears throat> what's also interesting in the Italian genre of horror, we started with Gothic to the Yalo, and then we went to the Mondo films, and then ultimately to the zombie films. So that you could say that this film was really in, helped inspire some of the filmmaking traditions by filmmakers like Dario Argento and uh, gore Italian filmmaker Lucio Fulci, who is really well known for his uh, zombie pictures. Uh, I told you they'd be here. Hey, you, what are you two doing around here? Oh, what are you suspect? Get on home now. Aren't you afraid you'll meet the gorilla? I'd rather meet him than some men I know. The other uh, key thing of Italian uh, cinema and horror cinema is very stylistic. So, as you mentioned, Sunrise Vidmark, nice lighting. They were really into uh, nice cinematography, stylistic sets, props more interested in the style of the film necessarily than the uh, storyline. Jay Mosesian, you did not like Deep Red. I think that's one of the better films we've watched on this show. Hey, the phone lines are open. 520-319-2866. Maybe somebody can call me and explain to me uh, how this guy turned into a monster. I know he must have taken Derma something or other. This film also in Italy it was called uh, Sedoc, which I believe is what some of the uh, People in this movie are calling this monster. Atomic Age Vampire's got a little bit more of a ring to it. Jay Mosesian, you were thinking about Driller Killer. Now, oh, that was a great film that we watched, Driller Killer. You did not like that film. <laughs> okay, 520-319-2866. Phone lines are open. Love to talk to Hank here on, live on the air. Okay, anti postmodern is okay. So back to the aliens. Come on, hurry. Get the <clears throat> hurry. Why must All right. I don't want to get in trouble with the FCC. Yeah, uh, but yeah. yes, there was a bus. Oh, yeah. The alien, <clears throat> there were some aliens driving the bus. Don't tell me you've been fighting for me. Well, I have if you want to know. And let's say that bus Am I wrong or could fly. Mad? Good evening. A carton of cigarettes if you play me something. But don't need for me here. Now, I don't know who was flying that bus, but I did mention earlier we aim to try that uh, Big Ed and Ida were on that bus with me. Just the three of us. Now, they had, I'd only got to see them sometimes. Sunrise would mark. If that bus went under 50 miles per hour, would it blow up? I'm not sure. 
Where's the key to the front gate? Oh. Hurry, come with me. This is no way to no way to treat your uh, assistant. Your employees. Hey lady, look at full. Come aboard. No thanks. I'd rather wait down here. Have any of you out there seen any any other films by Dario Argento besides Deep Red? Yeah. Or Lucio Fulci. Lucio Fulci did Zombie, City of the Living Dead, and The Beyond. Ah. Rocky Munson, Suspiria. Dario Argento film. Great Italian cinema. Demons. Absolutely. Dario Argento. Rocky Munson. The truth, I swear. A lot of shoulder groping in this film. Jeanette, where have you been? You can let me know. Where are you staying? What happened to you? Didn't you receive my letter? What letter? Oh, Pierre, take me away. I'm so frightened. Of what? Tell me. Ah. Ah. What happened there? There's a man in the water there. I heard a flag. There he is. Get him on deep. They're kidnapping him. Hey, thanks, Rocky. I really appreciate it. It's nice to be back here on Terra Firma. I've been lonely. I've been scared. I've been cold. It's nice to be back here at the station. I'll be, uh, after the show tonight, I'm heading over to Club Red 71. So any of you who are here in Gila Band want to join me for a drink, same girl, I agree. Come on down to Club Red 71 on Old Benton Highway. Let's have a, let's have a cocktail. Oh, no, Commissioner. It was she in front of me. But in the dark, with the fog and all. But I know her. I couldn't possibly be mistaken. Sunrise Woodmark, say hi to the fat man. But she's not a missing person. She's here. I've seen her. Are you referring to Alan? Even if she'd been kidnapped. Listen, you know I want to believe you. I remember the auto accident from which Jeanette Morino barely escaped with her life. But this or are you referring to, uh... Impossible. Yet she's cured. Perfectly normal. It's her same face. But who would be likely to hide such a miracle as that? Whoever it was who tried to kill me. Or what reason? An hour ago in Rue Dormay... Shane. Sergeant Brundell recovered a stolen automobile. This is the license <clears throat> number. All right, the cops are on him. Want to rejuvenate me? How long has it been since I've trying to keep up with him? We aim to try. Have I seen Bloody Pit of Horror? I don't think I have. Who did Bloody Pit of Horror? Is that uh, is that Mario Bava? Full lines are open, you guys. Five two zero three one nine two eight six six. Well, Shalane didn't bother to ask him that under the circumstances. Could have been a doctor who commandeered the first automobile he found. Or a clever criminal who would say anything to avoid identifying either himself or the woman. Jeanette. Perhaps. Rocky, I can't but speak to uh doctor who might give us some information about this miraculous recovery. Any possible media coverage I'm doing. Will you let me come with you? Yes, but on one condition, however, that this is uh you in the car. I'm glad to say that I am back. I am back. You may have seen my. You may have seen me on the news. I was looking a little rough. Ah, good evening, Professor Levin. Please excuse us if we're. Oh, this is Police Sergeant Durant. Marie, <clears throat> I think you already. But I'm feeling much better now. The interruption if we're disturbing you at this hour, but passing in front of your villa, I thought. Feeling much better. Oh. Atomic Boy 61, thanks for joining the show tonight. We're watching Atomic Age Vampire. Italian horror film from 1960. Directed by Anton Giulio Maggiano. Starring Alberto Lupo and Suzanne Lorette. Expecting a mystery story, if there were anything to suspect him of. May I offer you a drink, Inspector? Yes, yes. Let's be comfortable. I don't know if any of you are questioning why this is called a vampire film. 
because it has a mad scientist in it. We talked a little bit about vampires seem to be common themes or parts of titles in these Italian films. TJ or Terror Joe, TJ was one of my students, the Gila Bend Night School of Animal Husbandry and Diesel Mechanics, was a little eager last week. And uh, all I can say right now is that uh, some agents from the FCC came by and they took him away. Tommy Rock is the right word for a cheap sensational journalist. Chief. All right, go out and smoke. So, uh, we're hoping uh, that maybe um, he can get back to work at the solar farm. What you were kind enough to say was intelligent. About the psychological reaction of the victims of an atomic explosion. Well then, perhaps my own supposition will be an absurd one. But think of the ships that arrived here from Japan. And this, uh, said doc. So I was saying vampires. So I mentioned, uh, this actress, Suzanne Lorette. The film that she was in prior to this one was called Uncle Was a Vampire. And we talked about Mario Bava, kind of the, one of the early films that set off the horror tradition. Oh, I'll get back to this on the other side. messages. Charlie Regas was killed tonight. One to the forehead. You sunk a lot of dough in Charlie's joint. What did you and him fight about tonight? One of you two killed Charlie. I find out who soon, or I kill you both. I saw somebody driving away. Could have been anybody. You've got to help me locate Dell before he gets to Charlie. Amter TV Broadcasting live from Gila Bend Something's coming folks Or in actuality Already here Darling I'm telling you I've been hearing weird stuff all night Just want to see what it is Holy shit It's one of them flying saucers Look at it move! <laughs> Hello? There's something there? truth is out there, but it's happening right here in Gila Bend. Stay safe, my friends. Operators are standing by. You're watching Channel 67. Amter TV. 
Broadcasting live from Gila Bend. We're back. Tonight we're watching Atomic Age Vampire, Italian horror film from 1960. Okay, what was I saying before the break? Oh yeah, vampires are in a lot of these titles. And I talked a little bit about Mario Bava. And uh, Mario Bava... My favorite film by Mario Bava is a film called Planet of the Vampires. You should check it out. If you ever uh, get a chance, I strongly recommend it. Have you seen the show? That's impossible. And if there did exist a cure, I don't know, a practice we never heard of. Any man who had discovered one would be a celebrity. You, Thanks so much for watching tonight. Really appreciate it. We aim to try Atomic 61 and Sunrise Widmark, Rocky Munson. I really appreciate you showing up tonight. <clears throat> Planet of the Vampires, that's right, Rocky. Beautiful, stylish film. Right, it wasn't. And besides, even if it had been, it could easily have been fake. Professor, I'm ready to swear that the. Duran, we've been disturbing you long enough. You're most grateful, Professor. I'll accompany you. Larry? Uh, Please be here. careful what we're talking about here tonight. The FCC Gila Band office still watching the show. <clears throat> Sunrise Widmark, yeah, I do. Uh, I do have a, a, uh, a earphone here. No conspiracy months. here. Over, I'm enjoying a period of repose right now. Which is part of the uh, technology of the station. What I envy you is your gardener, Sasha. Really? A bit difficult to believe that. No, it's just that I'm a flower gardener on my days off. Imagine, Inspector, he even works at night. Maybe he's expecting a frost. I know what you mean. You're dying to have a look in. So you were asked, somebody was asking well, earlier about what kind of bus. No, 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 no indeed. Sasha would be well, it was kind of a camper bus I, I was riding in. in. What for? Why don't you come to Duran? Kind of like the camper bus in Mel Brooks' film Spaceballs. I don't know if you've seen there that or not. Sasha, you're honored. These gentlemen have come to admire your beautiful greenhouse. It's really beautiful, too. Well, you ought to know. Flowers. Nothing else of any interest. And Sasha is always busy with them. He doesn't even have time to read mystery stories. Yes, and no wonder. Well, good night, Professor. And excuse us again. Sasha, accompany the gentleman to the gate. Durand, aren't you coming? Uh, VW Atomic, nice, uh, boy, no. I believe that's Winnebago. All right, phone lines are open, 520-329-2866. Had a couple calls tonight already. What is the purpose of this autopsy? Now, doctor? There was a deranged, sort of disturbed person early on, didn't want to leave their name. Good morning. Good morning. And then we got a call from the FCC, Mr. Haberdashy. Love to hear from you. As I mentioned, uh, I've been I've been out of the country for the last few months. Well, haven't had a chance to speak to very many people. Five two zero three two nine two eight six six. Now it appears that uh, that she's now she's perfectly healed. But if I understand correctly, Sasha! Sasha! it's because the doctor keeps killing people and Dennis. brings. Oh, we got ourselves a call. What are you 
you shouting for? What's wrong with you? No, let go of me. I want to get out of here. I'm afraid. For me? Or the man to whom you're... You're live on the air with Hank. You're not telling the truth. You want to go back to... What's your name, caller? I save you now in spite of yourself. What? Big Ed? Big... Bus? Ida, is she okay? Uh, Big Ed, don't let him probe you. Don't let them probe you. And then you'll be cured forever. Free to go where you please and with whom you please. If you're ungrateful enough to leave me for a man who has done nothing for you, oh. you deserve nothing else. But until you're cured... I hope that wasn't really Big Ed. Don't try to see He's a good man. Will you promise this? Look here. I'll even give this back to you. You know... You no more reason to kill yourself. When I... Went for that ride on that bus. It's hitchhiking, you know. What is it? And and Ed was on there with Ida. It's like Ida wanted to go. She wanted to go back home. Yeah. And Big Ed, he loves Ida so much. Who was here? He had to go with her. Yeah. <laughs> Probiotics. <laughs> uh, not to be confused with probiotic. Yes. Run to him. Let him Atomic boy. Him. Go away with him as you are. Remember, I gave you my word and I shall keep it. <laughs> it will be your decision then. So the bus, In the meantime, driving away, you will help me to finish it. End of the night. I'm not there who is speaking now, but Professor Levin. Big Ed's going off. I have to win, you see. To the far blue yonder with Ida. Hope they're going to be happy together wherever they end up. We aim to try. We aim to try. I believe you're referring to FMT. I believe that proper term for that is FMT. Phone lines are open. Thanks so much for calling tonight. 520-329-2866. And please explain why you dared pass yourself off as a policeman and for what reason the commission is my fault. I was so anxious to learn more about your research that I asked permission to come here. But on the other hand, coming here so late at night and not having time to explain... Well, Rocky, I think you've spent some time in he You've been in Hila Bend a long time, Rocky, and what should you, have you know to things can get a little that you had a personal interest weird. In the case of that unfortunate young lady, what is her name again? Ah, yes. Janet Morino. You know, you were not very convincing as a policeman. <laughs> yes, I guess it wasn't your right with her. I don't know if any of you out there read the New York Times, Jeanette but there was an amazing article today about late night hosts I know I've seen for movie shows I like this. She, Jeanette. Yesterday. Not one no. mention of Hank. Or now it's dark on amateur TV. It's a shame. And if they hadn't attacked me right then, guess we're gonna have to work on our antenna so we can blast this show out farther and wider. And I was about to learn it. You love her, that is evident. I wonder if you had parted with her sentimentally. I mean, before you were actually separated. How did you know that? I'm if this is Atomic Age Vampire, she must be a radioactive blonde. Sunrise You're not suffering from an obsession to find her again. You're capable of seeing her and every woman you run into. And perhaps yesterday on that very same pier where often before Jeanette was waiting after a long voyage... No, it was no hallucination. We aim to try. And how can you explain the attack on me? Well, <clears throat> I used to have an agent. Robbery. Maybe I need another one. Yes, Let's try and work on that. On waterfront, see? And perhaps the night was foggy. Right. Perhaps you'd also been... Phone lines are open. <laughs> Phone lines are open. 520-329-2866. Now remember, I'm going to be at uh, Club Red 71 after the show down on Old Benson Highway having a few Coca-Colas. You want to join me for a drink? 
talk about this movie or just Italian cinema in general, come on down to Club Red 71 for the after party. I love her too much for that. Now, I think what happened in this show, this movie here, I got sidetracked. But I believe our mad scientist kidnapped her and brought her back. I think she wasn't she with this guy before. Thank you. She found her way back to him. Why should you, Sasha? Accompany the gentleman. I hope I see you again, sir. Goodbye, Mister. No, why bother to give me your name? I don't think there'll be any further occasion to see each other. We had some audio difficulties there. Anti postmodern, no dress code. No dress code at Club Red 71. I got to try that stock trailer mic. Tequila and Tabasco. Yeah, Sunrise Widmark. I'm sorry, man. We had some uh, technical difficulties there. I was sure that I could rely. Now wait for me here. If I leave you alone, it's because I have to do still once more what no other man ever did for the. Could have been some interference in a possible internal transponder or transmitter. You must wait for me. Is that the name of the drink, Stock Trailer Mike, Ring of Fire? I just usually drink my tequila straight. Very good. In his automobile. Have you arranged for reinforcements? Take all precautions. Exactly where is he at the moment? We'll be right back after these messages. Now quit daydreaming about the life you don't have. Get busy living the one you do. And one of these days, I'm gonna just go. You gonna get yourself lost out there? Make my heart I need to report a crime. This girl is chained. And the girl, how's she now? <laughs> you do have money, right? Cops are looking for a young man that robbed a. What was it again, Rocky? Department store. Down around Milton. Young man they're looking for fits your description. Mister, I'm just passing through. Call me Hart. You are exactly who I say you are. Find him. Bring him in. You are lost to the world, boy. There's a downside to getting lost. You become more trouble than you're worth. Getting found. <laughs> you're watching Channel 67. Amter TV. Broadcasting live from Gila Bend. Experience. 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 Uh, you gotta finish that song. Handcrafted to perfection, cooked to pure bliss. With a sauce so savory and sweet, it could only be crafted with a secret recipe as illustrious and mysterious as the company's founder, chef, and esteemed magician, Amadeus von Nostromo. Nostromo. So trust me. New York Post best-selling author, fictional revolutionary, maverick, and all-around handsome man. When you're feeling hungry, pick up that phone and call 
but don't be surprised when they tell you what you want to order. And remember, experience the Zaw. Ice Drum with Pizza Bravo 655-7792, Corner of Craig Rock and Speedway. Call now and experience the Zaw. Channel 67. Enter TV. Broadcasting live from Gila Bend. We're back. Atomic Age Vampire. Italian horror film from 1960. Really was one of the beginning foundational films of the Italian horror cinema. Did you hear something? All right. Watch yourself now, Buster. Let's not start on your bed, huh? Oh, wait, well, where was I? Man, I have a lot to do. Horror tradition. Now I lost my train of thought. Okay. I was just thinking about bacon there for just a second. Okay, what, what was I saying? Uh, Italian horror is a foundational film. And uh, there's a tradition that started in the 60s and in through the 70s. It started with gothic horror that then migrated into the giallo, which was uh, that erotic thriller horror which an example of that was the Deep Red, the Dara Gentle film we watched earlier this year. And the Italian then horror tradition then moved into the Mondo films and then ultimately the zombie films. Uh, classic horror, Italian horror filmmakers, Mario Bava, Dario Argento, and Lucio Fulci. You should check those filmmakers out and see their work. Stock trailer, Mike, are you talking about me, Snappy Dresser? Yes. Sunrise Woodmark, Babe Ruth. That's my favorite Halloween candy. The waterfront neighborhood again, but is the woman dead? Yes, naturally. A little arm throughout the zone and declare an emergency. Speaking of food, just wanted to tell everybody, if you have a chance to get to Pistradamus Pizza, you should try it. It's some good stuff. It's the best pizza around. Phone lines are open. 520-329-2866. I think... We're in the last bit of this film, so this might be your last opportunity to give us a call. 520-329-2866. Oh my gosh, we got a call. Professor Levin, he sat through the whole film and then he went on. Gerard Skelly, and we're waiting here for further instructions. You're live on the air with Hank. What's your name, caller? We both took turns. He didn't move one. Not one. Let's go in. Sir Roy. What's your name, caller? What are you up to? I'll complain with you now, Chief. If you won't let me say set up, then I'll say you. As you can see, it's your fault. Well, from now on, you mind your own business, get me? Hello? Order, 
You're breathing kind of hard. Are you okay? What's on your mind tonight? Where was he sitting? He never moved on. Where was he sitting, I asked you. Right here, Inspector. This row here. Huh. Listen, Strange you call. And you never let him out of your sight, huh? Well, kind of scary. Mr. Buy some cigarettes. But I never let him out of sight. And who was there sitting next to you? If what I think is true, you'll be back in a beaten uniform. That reminds me. What was he Tear wearing? Joe's last gasp. Yeah, no, no. He was wearing a camel's hair coat, Inspector. I'm sure they'll take good care of TJ. He sat here, you say? Right here, sir. Where were you two sitting? We were back there. That's right. Floyd's over there in the engineering closet, Rocky. I don't think that was him. Inspector, headquarters told me I would probably find you here. The autopsy I did on Monique Rivera. Okay. Here we go. What's going on here? I'll never be able to forgive myself. You mean like the others? Aliens. And this stuff, what do you think it is? Could have been the aliens. No about that. that sound is quite familiar. I don't know if it's human or... And what else do you think it might Reminds be? me of something Stock Trailer Mike said. Right away. The rest of you come Ring of fire. Do they use a landline? <laughs> oh, we got another call. You're live on the air with Hank. What's your name, caller? Hank. Hank, it's Toby. How's it going? Toby. Thank you so much, Toby. Where are you calling from tonight? Los Angeles, that's great. I know we got a lot of competition out there on the airwaves, so so glad you're watching our show. I'm still tuning into your your show. It's still one of my favorites. How's the reception? I'm just glad to be back on Terra Firma, you know what I mean? About my experiences? About my return? Oh, what do you mean? I mean, I, I'm just, you know, trying to... Well, uh, when you're strapped to a chair and, uh, you know, they got transponders and transmitters and tubes and things like that, it usually has to be done in a state of undress. But, well, I, I don't know. Uh, that's a good point, uh, Toby. I might have to look up in the yellow pages, see if there's uh, some kind of psychiatrist here in Hill Bend I might chat with. Stu Rodney, yes. Good man, good man. A good show. Good, it's a really good show. Thanks so much. Well, I really appreciate the call, Toby. And uh, you stay safe and uh, out there in Los Angeles. And, uh, happy Halloween to you. All right. Wow. Another call. I don't think we've ever had this many calls before. We seem to have quite an audience from uh, Los Angeles.
it's a little embarrassing being on the news in your underwear, you know. But uh, I just woke up out there wandering around, trying to make my way out, out of the wilderness. Ooh. Beauty and the Beast, right here. Thanks for all the calls tonight. Thanks for all the chats. Really appreciate everybody. Spending your Halloween with old Hank. Quite the monster there. Monstrous. <laughs> shoulder groping again. Yeah, there's a lot of shoulder groping in this film. That's right, Rocky. Everybody knows there's weird things in the sky. Especially when you got an old Benson Highway. Everybody's seen it. Everybody's seen the fire in the sky down there. Man, the doctor needs some more Derma 28 for sure. That was an expensive Italian face. What about that globe? <laughs> I'm not taking off this trench coat for nothing. Uh, hilarious. Atomic Boy 61. Hilarious. Look at that classic image right there. We've seen that image so many times in horror films. Monster carrying away the, the beauty. One last thing I want to tell you about this film. In 2011, a British artist by the name of Adam Roberts remade this film he took the audio track and reshot the scenes frame for frame on super 8 without any actors and the film's called remake and again uh, the artist's name is adam roberts That's something I wish I would have done. I wish Hank would have thought of that. Great idea. Thanks so much for all the calls tonight, everybody. Thanks for all the chats. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Sasha's our hero. Igor, aka Igor, saves the day. Sunrise Widmark, no actors. How do you deal with all the shoulder groping? <laughs> Artists. Hard to understand them, I have to tell you. Take that man out of here.
Can you grope your own shoulders? Well, come on, give me a like. How am I doing, anti postmodernism? Hope you enjoyed this film tonight. Nice jazzy tune. Some expensive Italian basses, some nice lighting. Didn't mean to offend you, Sunrise Widmark. Sorry. Thank everybody for watching Amtur TV. Now it's dark. Stay tuned for a little highlight reel. Really appreciate all of you tonight. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Not a zombie. He's a flesh eater, Jim. Oh, right, right. Sorry, but, but it's... What's on your mind tonight, Isabella? Nothing much. Watching the movie. Enjoying the You enjoying the film? Yeah, absolutely. Definitely one of the ugliest uh, Frankenstein I've seen, but... What's your favorite Frankenstein movie? Rocky Horror. I think you said that in the chat. That's a great response. I'm watching this movie and I am scared. Scared? Why are you scared? Why, why are you scared, Doug? This movie, this movie freaks me out. Is it because of the flesh eaters? The flesh eaters. I think, I think the flesh eaters are coming back. Dennis Hopper. I love Dennis Hopper. Well, why do you like him? Oh, well, that's uh, it's not a fair question, really. Uh, I think our viewers know I have a, a pension for David Lynch, and so I'd have to say Blue Velvet. It's a dark Blue and disturbing Velvet, film. That's, that's, uh, that's a good film. I, uh, I personally like uh, Mario Brothers. Have you seen Mario Brothers? You know, I have not. Maybe I you should... You haven't seen Mario Brothers? No. God. Club Red 71, open all night long. Icy Tramp dog food sold everywhere.
a tip from our local man, Stu Rodney, of the UFO Hour. We're out here on Old Benson Highway waiting for something big to happen. Holy shit! It's Hank Miller! I guess Stu Rodney's not a crackpot. Mr. Miller, is that you? Mr. Miller, are you okay? Where have you been? Aliens. UFO got me. Are you okay? I've been probed. You're watching Channel 67. Amter TV. Broadcasting live from Gila Bend. 